Welcome to IGSS Online Training. I'm Per Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system IGSS. This is lesson five, creating a new configuration. And after this presentation, we recommend that you do the exercise. In this lesson, I'll explain how you create a new configuration in IGSS, how you create the servers in the system, how you create operator stations, and finally, how you choose and set up PLC drivers in our system. When you create a new configuration, you must go through this flowchart. First, you uh, create the new configuration in the system configuration module. The next step is to set up the servers and operator stations in a multi-user system. Then you select and set up the PLC drivers and PLCs in uh, system configuration. And at this point, you must have a data list with all the PLC addresses of the process components. Otherwise, you must prepare it at this stage. If you need background drawings for your mimic diagrams, it's also the time to draw them in an external program. Could be Corel Draw or Adobe Photoshop. And inside IGSS, you will find a symbol editor that allows you to design your own symbols that you can use on the mimic diagrams. Now we are inside the system configuration module and uh, we can see the path to the configuration that we, we're working on here. This is the demo configuration. To create a new configuration, we will go into the file menu of system configuration and choose new configuration wizard. First step is to name the configuration and the second step is to Specify the location of the new configuration that you're creating. In a multi-user system, you will then specify and define the first server in the system. If you're working on a single-user system, you will, of course, choose this option. In this example, I'm doing a multi-user system, so I select server. In IGSS, we have more than 80 PLC drivers and uh, as you can see on the slide, we, are, we have all the product brands that are well known in the SCADA industry. Siemens, Allen Bradley, Omron, etc. We have more than 80 PLC drivers specifically developed for IGSS. And uh, if you want to use OPC, the industry standard for communication, then we also have an OPC client-side driver. The next step is to select the driver uh, or drivers that you want in IGSS. When you click the new driver button, you are presented with all the more than 80 PLC drivers in the system. And in this particular case, I have selected driver ID number 8, Siemens S7. When I have selected my drivers, then it's time to add the operator stations in my multi-user system. So the first step is to say add an operator station. And the second step is to specify the IP address of the server that the operator station will connect to. When all this is done, uh, we will see a tree structure here in system configuration showing exactly what we've set up in the wizard. We set up the demo station, that was our server. We set up, set up the Siemens S7 driver, we see this here. And uh, underneath the S7 driver, we have specified three different nodes or PLCs. So a node in IGSS is a PLC. Each PLC has a unique number, as you can see here, 0, 1 and 2. And finally, we specified our operator station, which was called OP1. When we have verified that the setup in system configuration is correct, we are ready to design our mimic diagrams and connect to the PLC addresses. To do this, go into the file menu and select Save and Start Definition. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit www.70dk slash IGSS.